Hello, back again with some more tips. Um, we have free shipping until Friday the 9th at 11. That's tomorrow. And also, our border maker is changing. So if you don't have the border maker system, now is the time to buy it. So normally, um, the system comes with the picket fence, which looks like this. We get the picket fence border maker cartridge. But then you get to choose another one. I think right now, this is one of the options, the photography chain. So normally, you get the border maker uh, guide, the punch, the picket fence, and the photography chain for only $33.50, I believe. Starting the 13th, you will no longer get the extra cartridge. You'll just get the picket fence. So... That's a savings of $19.50. Right now is the time to get the border maker system. Um, and especially with the free shipping, then you definitely want to get it. And then also this weekend is our virtual crop. So we're going to be getting some sketches like this, um, at least six, but I think more because this is worldwide virtual crop and we're opening the secret box. So I wanted to get on here today and show you how to make a page from a sketch, um, since we're gonna be working on that starting tonight. So hold on, let's make a page. Okay, so I'm using the new Golden Harvest collection, and this is our new cardstock color Canary, which I absolutely love. So the first thing I do usually is figure out how many pieces of paper I need, and there's different shades of gray. So this is a what, number one paper and which is your base. And then this is a number two paper. This is the same as that. This is your number three paper. And then these are your pictures. And these can be border punches or stickers or um, laser borders. And then these are your embellishments. So I just need three pieces of paper. I'm gonna punch some borders to show you that everybody needs the border maker system and this is our new pyramid keyhole i'm going to punch a couple of that with canary and then i'll use some embellishments okay so i'm going to set this right here hopefully you can see it um the first thing this is the base page i'm going to use because that's so pretty right so gorgeous i love this new collection i'm not a fall is definitely not my favorite summer is but this collection is super pretty um then on my number two paper, it's just a little strip. So I'm thinking like maybe an inch. And I totally guess. If you do go to the blog, usually they have directions if you're nervous about it. And I want to see all the planes. So I'm gonna cut this wood grain paper against the grain so that I can see all of the, I love that. And then my third piece of paper, that looks like a much bigger strip. Like I'm thinking two inches. And I'm gonna use this leafy, pretty leafy one. And it may even be bigger than that, but I think, well, let's, let's see. What if we did two and a half? Like I said, totally guessing. Sometimes it doesn't come out exactly like they're, um, what they have on there, but it's close enough. And it doesn't really matter. This is my version of their sketch. But like I said, if you go to the blog, usually the sketches have uh, directions. So I do have some hunting pictures. And I think I'm gonna line them all up here just like they have in four by four squares. So I just have to cut those up into four by four. Hunting is a big thing here in this part of the woods. Feeds our family. And we actually have friends that come every year from California or Texas or Wyoming to hunt. So hunting is a fun time around here in Colorado. 
And I have another picture. These are me and my girlfriends at the local restaurant visiting with the friends I was telling you about. So I don't know where I'll put this yet, but those three are definitely gonna go there. So I'm gonna tape all of this down. And just a reminder, the virtual sketch starts this afternoon. And it goes through Saturday. And then I think you have till Sunday night to post your versions. And if you go to my Facebook page and also post your version there, I'm going to be giving away a gift also. So you'll have two chances to win gifts. Creative Memories is going to give away a gift. And I'm going to give away a gift for every sketch. So go not only post your version on the CM Virtual Crop Facebook group, but also go to my Facebook page and post your versions of the sketches for an extra chance to win. It's definitely a fall pastime around here for hunting. So I figured these were great pictures to use for this sketch. Oh, see, I went a little over up there. I want more space. So I'm just going to overlap the paper. And then I have these cute, I think these are really pretty. I also kind of hate them because when they have these little tiny openings, I never can get all the pieces out with this on the sticker backer. I have to go through and use my finger to get them all out. Okay. I think they're all out and this one I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put it down here very pretty and then I'm gonna do that again so if anyone has any tips on how to keep those little guys on the sticker backer I mean that works a little easier or better for most of them now I only have a few to do I just struggle. I think I got them all. Okay, and then, okay, now I'm gonna use the pyramid keyhole to punch a couple. Remember the case goes in with the opening out so that this pops up just like that. And then in your guide, you fold your ruler out Put your paper under the magnet to the edge of, edge of your guide. Put your magnet back down. Get rid of your ruler. You don't need that anymore. And these little doodads go in the holes on the thing. So you just, you can totally feel it. Cute. And then I'm gonna do the other side before I trim. So get your border maker cartridges before tomorrow at 11 mountain time. You'll get free shipping and that extra cartridge. After the 13th, you won't get the extra cartridge anymore. Turn these off. I'm just gonna cut them at the one inch. I love this new canary cardstock color. Goes excellent with our new collection. And I think instead of putting it, see on the sketch, they have it halfway in this, this one, since it's not a chain, would look better like this, I think. So that's what I'm gonna do. Got my used sticker backer for my repo tape. and fill all these holes up. I might put a little more on the bottom of regular. Let's 
So like I said, it doesn't have to match perfectly. It is definitely your version of their sketches. So mine is a little different. I have this cute fall is here mat that I think I'm gonna cut with, they did hexagons. I'll, I guess I could do a hexagon. Custom cutting system, gemstones have, oh, that ain't gonna work. It's not gonna fit in there. So how about just a circle? Can I get it all in a circle or even a square? It's gonna have to be a square, I think, unless I do this big one, which I could do. Let's just do that. So I'm using a circle instead of a hexagon like they did. And I'm, I might save this because I might use either these strips or I might be able to mat a photo on there. Let's see. It would be very, it would be very skinny mat. We'll see. And then I think I'll put some of this canary behind it. So I'm going to use, in, instead of using the red blade like I used on here, I'll use the green blade to make a mat. So cute. So that can go down here. And I'll add some embellishment. I love this acorn. And I really, really, really like these wood rounds. This collection is so pretty. It's a must have. Must, must have. Okay. I think this page is done, guys. Except for that extra picture that I gotta figure out about. I'm gonna pop this pine cone up. Tape this one down. I could even journal on that. So I might do that, leave this off some so I could journal. Pop this pine cone up. And I'll journal on that and add this picture somewhere somehow. Not really sure. I might put it in a flip flap, but this page is done and it looks similar to the sketch. Not exactly alike, but similar. Okay, so participate in the virtual crop this afternoon, this weekend. Don't forget to post your versions of the sketches. Lots of copying. Go to the blog if you need measurements or need help or call me, message me, whatever. I will help you. Um, but post your versions on the CM Virtual Facebook group. CM Virtual Crop Facebook, or it's Creative Memories Virtual Crop Facebook group. And then my Facebook page, which is linked below. And post your versions of the sketches and you'll have chances to win. So, hope you enjoyed that. Real quick and easy page. Love the sketches, love copying. And don't forget to like and subscribe.